Hi everyone, it is Mr. Moreau, and I would like to go over the speciation questions with you. And as you can see, I have my split screen working. So on the left, we have the quiz questions. And on the right, we have our Orby speciation picture story. So I'll be going through these questions and showing you which part of the Orby speciation story uh, was helpful for the answer. So let's start with question one on the left. How did the first population of Orbeez show variation in characteristics? If you look on the right side of my screen at picture number one, you can see that there is a diverse population of Orbeez. And the reason why they are diverse is because some were so, uh, tall, some were short, some had hair, and some did not. We can see that in picture two on the right, there's also a new mutation that makes some of them unique and different than the others. On to question two. What traits were important for natural selection of the Western Orbeez? And there are two correct answers. We have to choose them both. As you can see on the West side, uh, it is a benefit for survival if the Orbeez do not have hair. And it is a benefit for survival if the Orbeez have long legs because that helps them to eat more. So natural selection is all about the traits that are a survival advantage and advantages for survival. That means that hair is important for their survival because it's a good thing for them to not have hair and leg length. That is also important for their survival because that will help them to eat more. On to question three. What traits were important for natural selection of the eastern Orbeez? On the other side of the river, on the east side, that is where it is cold. So having hair is another beneficial trait that will help them for survival and also having large teeth. That is going to help them obtain more food. You can see that in picture number nine and 10. That helps them survive. Now on to uh, question four. Question four says, what traits were important for sexual selection of the Western Orbeez? Sexual selection is not about survival advantage. It is about reproduction advantage. What will help them find a mate and reproduce more? On the west side, what helps male Orbeez find a female mate? Look at picture number eight. It shows that the striped legs are what helps them successfully reproduce. That is why number four must be letter B. For number five, what traits were important for sexual selection of the eastern Orbeez? On the east side, the shaking of the hair as they dance, shown in picture 11, is what allows them to have more successful reproduction. So for this one, we would choose A as our answer. For question six, we're choosing the option that is true. Based on, uh, so I'm reading A here, based on the preference of Western Orby females, they want their offspring to have the ability to stay warm. On the west side, it already is warm, so they do not have to worry about that. A is wrong. B, based on the preference of the Western Orby females, they want their offspring to have the ability to blend into their environment. That was not discussed on the west side. In fact, the hair originally in picture three was a good mutation because it helped them blend in. But you can see on the west side of the river, the Orbeez do not have hair, so this is also wrong. For C, based on the preference of the eastern Orbeez females, they want their offspring to have the ability to stay warm. If you look at picture 11, that shows the eastern Orbeez females choosing hairy males. Hair would help them to stay warm, so that is why we are going to choose C as our correct answer. Let's just make sure that D is wrong also. Based on the preference of the Eastern Orby females, they want their offspring to have the ability to jump high. That was not part of the Eastern side. In fact, on the East, it's better to be short, so you are closer to the insects underground, which is where they get their food. On to the next page, question seven. How did hair become present? So how did it first become present in the Orbe population? For letter A, it says some Orbeez knew that it could help them blend in, so they chose 
to grow hair as an adaptation. This is absolutely wrong. Animals cannot know that something is helpful, therefore choose to have certain traits. We do not choose our genes. We are born with genes, and those genes may appear because of random mutation, and they could stay in our population, most likely because of natural selection. Let's go on to find the right uh, answer. 7b. Orbeez that already had hair moved into that area. This is possible, but it is not something that we saw in our story. So B is wrong in this case. C. Some Orbeez were born with hair because of a, a mistake in their DNA. Now that sounds like a nice, random reason why hair appeared first. Letter D, females liked hair, so the males chose to grow. No, we know that's wrong right away. Okay, we always know that traits appear for the first time in a population because of mutation or because of natural DNA changes from parent to offspring. Question eight. If the river dried up and the western Orbeez and eastern Orbeez came back together, would you expect a western Orbeez and an eastern Orbeez to reproduce? Well, we are going to cross out A and B right away. We know the answer must be no, because they are so different. So, is C or D correct? C says the eastern and western Orbeez would be enemies because they have been apart for so long. Nothing in this story tells us that the Orbeez will be enemies. That would be a strange guess for us to make. Let's see what D says. D is, no, the eastern females would have no interest in western males, and western females would have no interest in eastern males. That is correct, because they look and behave so differently now that they will not attract one another. They will not reproduce together because they look and behave so differently. That is what makes them different species. Question 9. What was the most important event that caused these two new species to form? It all began when they were separated as the river formed. Okay, Separation, also known as isolation. Separation is the first most important step of new species forming. Organisms can be separated into different places. They can be separated because they start to behave differently. They could even be separated because they reproduce at different times. So they could be separated by time, separated by behavior, or separated by location. But separation is the key first step in new species forming. Last question. You are a scientist exploring the environment. You find two Orbeez. How can you know for sure that they are the same species? There is more than one correct answer. You must mark them all on your bubble sheet. So we need to know what are the two ways that they are the same species. A, the two Orbeez reproduce with one another. That is a key thing. In order for two species to be able to be called the same species, they have to be able to reproduce. B, the two Orbeez look similar. No, that is not uh, a complete requirement. Think of certain species of birds. The male and female look very different from each other. So B is not always true. B is wrong. C. The offspring of the two Orbeez can reproduce and have offspring of its own. So the two organisms can have babies and the babies can have babies. Yes, that is true. And D. The two Orbeez are about the same age. No, the age does not matter when you are determining if two organisms are the same species. And that, folks, is all the questions that we have gone through with our speciation of the Orbi story. Thank you.